FDev's monthly Frontier Unlocked livestream just got done and as well as hints at trouble ahead in the Thargoid war we just got our first look at the next new ship to enter the game this year ...the Lacon Type 8. As part of this evenings Frontier Unlocked livestream FDev streamed a pre-recorded interview between Arthur Tolmy, FDev's Head of Community, PR and Communication and Junior Brand Manager at the company Zach Cocken. The main thrust of the conversation was absolutely the new Type 8 which we'll come on to in just a second. Before we do I just want to mention that the conversation started with Arthur and Zack discussing how things were progressing in the war against the Thargoid invasion of the bubble and in particular the systematic destruction of each Titan mothership in turn with the 4th Titan Haddad having been destroyed just this last weekend. In the brief exchange between the two there was more than a hint that perhaps we shouldn't get complacent in our dealings with the titans and as we have previously seen swarms of Orthrus deployed around a titan as it becomes more vulnerable in its final days it's possible there could be such surprises in our future as the war continues to progress. Arthur even quoting Han Solo from Star Wars saying ...don't get cocky. The chat quickly moved on to talk about the Type 8 however and to show the first concept images and then full detail renders of Lacon's new baby. The first images shown were what Frontier referred to as grey box concept art. These are detail light versions of the ships exterior design and attempt to explore what the ship would look like in rough form. The real showstoppers however were yet to come when the team then went on to show full detailed renders of the ship. Whereas the Python Mark II was very clearly an iteration of the venerable and well known version 1 Python from the game that we've become used to the Type 8 is very clearly the first next generation ship design that we've seen from the Cambridge developers and it is quite stunning. Arthur and Zach even admitting that whilst the new ships are being referred to as variants and that was true of the Python Mark II the Type 8 is a complete new ship design from the ground up. The ship sports the familiar Lacon bubble cockpit design and has a very hard industrial workhorse look to it. Its aesthetic being reminiscent of a crossbreeding experiment between a crate, a Type 9 and a JCB Earthmover. Whilst the team are not yet ready to share full details on the ships internals Arthur and Zach did make it clear that where the Python Mark II was a combat specialist the T8 will be a freighter saying that again as with the Python Mark II the Type 8 is supercruise overcharge enabled and I'm also very pleased to confirm that whilst it will have a large carrying capacity the Type 8 will fit on a medium pad. As the chat continued it became clear that the dev team were looking to identify where in the game there were holes that weren't being filled by current vessels. The Python Mark II being a PvP contender that can take on the Mambas and the FDLs. The Type 8 clearly being a fast large hauler that can get onto the medium sized pads used by most smaller surface ports and orbital outposts. Despite being a physically large ship the cockpit placement on the vessel slung low at the front in typical Lacon style will make landing the likely weighty vessel easier and Zach did confirm that the distinctive forward arms of the ship will house many of the new ships hardpoints meaning in a similar fashion to the crate mark 2 commanders will see the weapons deploy, gimbal and fire from their cockpits. We've talked on this channel recently about what a game changer the SCO FSD is and what it appears that Frontier are now doing with Elite Dangerous. In summary if you missed that in my mind at least FDev look to be trying to edge aside some of the slower elements of the game and get players to the action for want of a better expression quickly. The beautiful lived in industrial workhorse design of the T8 with its exposed sections, extensive surface detailing and grimy aesthetic wouldn't look out of place in something like Star Wars or Alien and I couldn't be more pleased to see Frontier once again stepping up their design cues as they did previously in the Chieftain and Crate era and really giving players a ship that they can get excited about. 
Arf and Zack are hoping to show the ship in action together with a look at the cockpit interior space in the next livestream and here at the pit we honestly cannot wait to get our hands on this thing. As for what comes next ...we've had a combat vessel, we're getting a hauler and it's tempting to think that we could be looking at a new explorer or maybe a passenger ship perhaps. Whatever the case it's already one hell of a year to be an elite dangerous commander. What do you think of the Type 8 design? What features would you like to see from its internal loadout and what other ship types would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe so that YouTube shows you all our content and if you'd like to support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also join our Patreon. Links to that and everything we've talked about in this video you'll find linked below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.